I have 10 amazing WD-40 uses for your car, truck, and your automobile. By the way, do you know what the WD stands for in WD-40? It stands for Water Displacement Formula number 40. Get ready to displace some water, whether it's with your spray mechanism or your stream mechanism. We're gonna go with the spray today. Make sure that you stay until the end because we're gonna be talking about WD-40 in your gas tank. Are you going on a long drive or have a lot of bug guts stuck on your grill or your beautiful emblem? Just use a little WD-40, you can spray it directly on. But what I like to do, spray some on paper towel that way, you have better control over the dispersion of WD-40. Look at that. Now it's so shiny and will repel bugs in the future. This makes it easier to wipe off those sticky critters. I live in the Midwest, so we have a lot of snow and a lot of salt. How about this part of your vehicle? This gets real dirty and it often gets missed when you're cleaning your car. Yes, look at that, shine right up. Maybe you've experienced paint transfer. You got door dinged or a shopping cart hit your vehicle. Again, just get out your WD-40 and wipe away. We have very limited space in our garage, so we often will get black on there, but you can see this has done such a beautiful job. Ooh, hoo, hoo, here's one on this side. Let's get that wiped off. Ooh, this is a little bit tougher. We're getting it, we're getting it. Yes, honey. Got bug guts stuck to your windshield wipers? Well, not anymore, my friend. Cleaned it up real nice too. Need a way to prevent snow and ice from sticking to your windshield? Yep, a little WD-40 will go a long way. Make sure that you rub it in really well, but it's gonna create a little layer between your windshield and that annoying ice. This is great at lifting any bug guts too without scratching your windows. I have four kids and they like to sneak gum. If you ever get gum stuck in your carpeting, use some WD-40 to lift it. By golly, what have I found down here? nasty. We're gonna be generous with this one and I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. All right, coming back here, probably should have gloves on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get this. Look at that. It's already starting to lift up. Oh, that is so gross. Maybe I'll use my little scraper here and lift up this goo, gum, something. Kind of feels like tar. Look at that. Maybe it's snowed heavily and you need to create a moisture barrier while you shovel out your car or clean off your windshield. Use this to create warmer and toast your toes. Water is definitely not getting through these babies now. Works great just shining up your snow boots too. And you may have seen people use WD-40 to get grease off their hands. I have a better, safer alternative for you. I guess it's in this cleaning container. I have a lot of cleaning supplies. I love all things cleaning. But get yourself a little baby oil this is amazing at removing basically anything stuck on your skin. And I don't know about you, I'd rather have my hands smelling like baby oil than WD-40. Your doors can often get stuck in the winter time with moisture getting through here, so just use a little WD-40 on your door. Lubricate this entire rubber part. Keep your locks from freezing over. Got any door squeaks? Not anymore. And if you ever have anything sticky on your car, maybe a sticker, maybe some sap, WD-40 will definitely help lift that. If you get stuck or need to shovel your way out of the snow, spray some WD-40 on your shovel. That way ice and snow will not stick to it as easily. And if someone accidentally got pen on your leather seats, just go ahead and use a little WD-40 to buff it out. Thankfully, these ones are brown, so it hides most things. On especially cold days, water and moisture likes to trickle down and get stuck inside here, making it difficult for me to refill my gas tank. You can, however, use WD-40 around your gas tank door opener to keep this from freezing. Now you may have seen something or someone has told you to put WD-40 in your gas tank. I repeat, I repeat, do not ever do this. This will not improve your gas mileage. In fact, it will do the opposite and it's gonna increase the exhaust fume and it's gonna make your car run much poorer. Save it for all the other tricks that I just showed you. Now, if you wanna know why you should put saran wrap in your microwave, click this video or click this one to keep the fun ideas going. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.